What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. I am your host, Unview Entertainment Gaming, everybody. Let us proceed with the Battle of Vegeta and Emperor Rises. We're going to battle Vegeta right now, guys, and it's going to be awesome. So right now we're going to switch to Goku, although I want to switch his costume, so which is I'm going to do that right now. There we go. Dragon Ball AF Goku is going to battle Vegeta along with uh, some other friends such as Dragon Ball AF Piccolo. And uh, let's see what else we're going to add here. We're going to definitely add Tien as obvious, and we're going to add uh krillin for that matter because krillin has the ability to revive people but nevertheless guys let us begin the battle with vegeta hopefully we'll be able to battle a great ape version of him soon if not it would be really disappointing but nevertheless guys this is dragon ball z battle of z i really hope you guys enjoy the series and i really hope you guys enjoy the episode for that matter because a lot of you thus far have been leaving some great comments in the previous episode and for those of you out there who haven't checked out the previous episode i really suggest you guys go on ahead and do that nevertheless let the battle proceed between Goku and Vegeta, one of the most epic battles in Dragon Ball Z history. Although I liked their second battle better when they were in Super Saiyan 2 forms, as obvious for everybody else. Um, I think this battle was uh, very, very interesting, nevertheless. I mean, yeah, yeah, Goku had help because how else would he have stopped Vegeta? I mean, Vegeta was very, very powerful at the time, and I mean, he still is, but nevertheless, I mean, it took. Yajirobe for that matter, Krillin, along with everybody else to even come close to Vegeta's power, so, um, let alone just cut his tail off when he was a great A, but as you guys can see right now, this game is just filled with action, and I really hope you guys enjoy the series, I really hope you guys have been enjoying my videos, a lot of you guys have been leaving some great feedback in the previous episode, uh, some of you guys have been talking about how the game looks really, really shitty, Although I would give you that and I will agree that yes, the game does not look as great as it should and yeah, the game may look a little shitty, uh, but nevertheless, it's still a great Dragon Ball Z game. It's not the worst of its kind. Trust me. I mean, have you guys ever played the Game Boy Advance versions of Dragon Ball Z? Terrible. Have you guys ever played Dragon Ball Z Sagas? Terrible. So I think that this game uh, fairly exceeds those. Does this game exceed Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast? or Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, no, it does not. And a lot of you people have been talking about how this is just one giant what-if story. Now, if that's true, then I, I would have to say, all right, now the game sort of makes sense because in the previous episode, we did a what-if battle on what if Nappa and Raditz fought Piccolo and Goku instead of just Piccolo and Goku versus Raditz alone. They did several uh, what-if timelines, and I'm pretty sure they have alternative sagas for this game. But nevertheless, I mean, I am really looking forward to encountering Bills and Whis because those are my favorite characters, along with Super Saiyan God Goku, so I really want to see what happens next. My God, Vegeta is just unrelentless. Die, you son of a fucking bitch! Come on! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell's going on? What the fuck? What's going on? Oh, shit! All right, change of plan. This is going to be hard. I mean, then again, let me, let me see something. How hard can you be really... Oh, God. All right, never mind. I, I got smacked with his tail, so... Damn, he, he's huge. I mean, he, he's not as big as the Ultimate Tenkaichi version, but damn. All right, I, I don't know who he's aiming at right now, but I'm just going to keep hitting him until fucking something happens. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going, and when the going gets tough, that means you start hitting him in the asshole, as you guys saw me right there. I mean, let me just see if I can go into Super Kaioku. Okay, that, that didn't do nothing. All right, well, I mean, I'm going to try to punch him in the dick and then the balls and in the asshole to see if that's going to work. And I don't think it's fucking shit, man. Come on. All right, I, 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 I keep hitting him in the ass, but I don't think it's working. Come on, fucking Piccolo. It looks like he has, like, a little statistic bar, like, right next to the shot clock. And, I mean, you have the right arm, left arm, head, and legs. All right, so we, we're, we're going to have to weaken his right arm, left arm, head, and legs in order for us to stop him, which is going to be very, very hard because I really don't see how the fuck we're supposed to defeat him. I mean, he's very, very huge, unless somebody has the Z-Sword. All right, here we go. Okay, that did not work at all. All right, um, his legs are very, very weak, so I might go for his legs, but then again, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing because the controls are so funny. Um, and I really wish they had more combos. Like, I really wish they had, like, oh, he's down. He's down. Get him. Get him. Punch him in the dick. Do something, guys. Come on. Fuck. Get him. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him. All right, he's up. Shit. All right, this ain't good. His legs are very, very weak, so that means we're going to have to go for his arms and his head next. 
I mean, but like I said, guys, um, in order for there to be more Dragon Ball Z games, we're going to have to support the series. We're going to have to support the video games. We're going to have to support the movies. So, like I said, like back last year, I really hope you guys have purchased the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie. Um, and now I really hope you guys purchase a Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z video game because with that, you know, it shows the company that we care. It shows the company that we want more. And to that, I would say, why not want more? Why not, you know, go on ahead and um, pretty much just own up to the video game? I mean, yeah, the company's going to make money, but they're going to still see, hey, look, there's still Dragon Ball Z fans out there. I mean, why don't we listen to them for a change, you know? And my energy ball, er, ball bar is about to fill up any minute now, and if that happens, I'm going to hit this bitch with a spirit bomb. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Imagine hitting a great ape with a spirit bomb. I mean, I wonder if it would be effective is my question. Because even though a spirit bomb is fairly large, I mean, don't you think a great ape could just grab that and throw it back? I mean, that's what I would assume. I mean, look at look at the size of this thing. He's huge. All right, go for the arms, gentle man. Go for the arms, you fucking... What's Gohan and Piccolo doing? I mean, what... what? I mean, not Piccolo. I mean, I got Gohan. Sorry. Fuck. I, I'm getting everything so fucking confused. Come on, Goku. Start fucking beating him up. There we go. Kamehameha! Okay, that should be it. All right. I blasted him in the ass, but it, it didn't really have any effect. Son of a bitch, man. He's very, very strong. All right, come on. Come on. Bam. All right. All right. He's almost down. He's almost down. He's almost down for the count. If we keep on doing this, maybe then we might have some progress. And crap. He just smited me. Holy shit, this is one tough-ass battle. As you guys can see, it's chaotic. Yes! Yes! Look at him, look at him. He's like, ah. There we go. Finally, we have defeated Great Ape Vegeta. Damn, he was kind of hard. Look, 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 look at the size of him. I mean, he's no way, shape, and form bigger uh, than the Ultimate Tenkaichi version because in Ultimate Tenkaichi, the bosses were remotely huge. They were, they were five times bigger than this. I mean, it is what it is, but like I said, guys, this is a very fun game. Yes, the Taunted Fighters. Yes, we have unlocked an achievement. Level 19, I've unlocked two cards. Like I said, guys, I mean, oh, and we've unlocked the Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans. And we've unlocked the Mountains. Here we go. For the Frieza missions have been unlocked. Let us proceed, ladies and gentlemen, with Frieza. I mean, like I said, guys, I'm going to be bringing you so much Dragon Ball Z that your heads are going to explode. So let's just go on ahead and switch. There we go. All right, now we have the Frieza saga. So we're going to have to fight all of these little henchmen of theirs. What is this? All right, um, definitely going to revert back to Dragon Ball AF Goku. And we're going to go on ahead. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stick to... Eh, all right, well, Dragon Ball AF it is. All right, well, I'm going to select Vegeta. I'm just going to change his little uh, costume outfit. Uh, all right, those are all the... All right, red, lo red looks good. All right, alongside me would be Dragon Ball AF Piccolo. And the last person I would have to say would probably be uh, Gohan. All right, you know what? Just, just for shits and giggles, we're going to select Gohan. So... But like I said, guys, if you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, updates, what if battles, and tons of great videos, guys. If you guys are enjoying the series, if you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, hit this video up with a like and a favorite. Rape that thumbs up button, guys. Let's show the world. Spread this video. Help get the word out by sharing it to your friends and your family. Recommend this video, guys. Recommend this channel. We have to get the word out. I mean, I'm just trying to build the Dragon Ball Z community back to what it once was i mean it's still a thriving community but i just feel like we can get more out of this than, than you know of usual wow i mean we're so strong one hit is all it takes to knock these suckers out look at that amazing next time on dragon ball z find out how powerful goku is as he punches all the fucking z fighters well not z fighters but all of the uh, frieza henchmen out of like the freaking map I mean, that, 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 that's also something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next Dragon Ball Z game is. Because it could be anything at this point. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, new consoles. I mean, why not develop something that's going to look ten times better than this? I mean, visually, a lot of people are comparing graphics. And yeah, I mean, it, like la la last month and this month, I was telling you guys um, not to compare the graphics because it's sort of unfair given the fact that it's a demo and whatnot. Um, but at this point, I really do I believe in my heart of hearts that the graphics are, aren't as good as they should be. 
the animation isn't as good as as it should i mean I, I don't know there's just so many things about this game that can just scream better but you know i mean look at the new i mean well not the new but look at the naruto shippuden game or ultimate ninja storm 3 or something like that you know um the graphics for the for that game was absolutely amazing i remember i bought my friend a copy i bought sean a copy last year and when, when they played it they were just at awe they were just like wow this game is absolutely amazing you know um, Raging Blast 2, same thing, amazing graphics, amazing fighting styles, it was really, really cool, you know, and for this game, it's, I, I, like, if you had to compare, it's very, very chaotic, and I'm getting my ass kicked, what the fuck, how many fucking Fuiza soldiers am I fighting, come on, you son of a bitch, look at this, they're all over the freaking place, they just keep coming, I mean, I don't know if they're on a ship or something, but, um, like I said, guys, the game could have room for improvements. What the hell was that? Holy shit, that, that, kind, of, that kind of startled me a little bit. Enemy reinforcements. All right, no, no, no problem, no problem. I mean, it, it's not like I'm beating the crap out of all of their henchmen, no problem, because that's exactly what's going on. But like I said, guys, I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions on the game. If you think the game is amazing, if you think the game sucks, if you think the game can be better, I want to hear what you think about the game. And I also want to hear how exactly you would make this game better because everybody has an opinion and my opinion stands that this game is phenomenal it's not the best but it's not the worst I mean would I recommend this game absolutely I mean especially online just wait and see if well, like, what, what I'm gonna do online because I'm just waiting to unlock all the characters I mean once I unlock all the characters guys you are truly going to see some epic shit online and I mean like I said in the previous episode I, I've seen Vegito online I'm not entirely sure if he's in the game I mean I'm pretty sure he is but if he is hoorah because what's Dragon Ball Z without having Vegito what's Dragon Ball Z without having Gogeta what's Dragon Ball Z without having Janemba you know like these characters should always be included now uh, by pre-ordering this game guys I have the Naruto Sage costume for Goku so I'm definitely going to show you guys that later on I've unlocked the Frieza soldiers it's not like I really care because I'm never gonna use them and we've unlocked planet Namek so I really hope you guys are enjoying this speaking of Namek like I said guys, Mine Wars 5, the epic battle between the Saiyans and the Namekians, it was absolutely phenomenal, thank you all for being a part of that war, like I said, there is a lot more surprises where that came from, what is all this, we have another saga, okay, alright, so we have some really unique stuff going on, we're gonna fight Gluto and we're gonna fight the other, uh, Frieza henchman soldiers, so let's, on, let's go on ahead and proceed with that, um, what I really wish that this game had was a, a character creation mode. You know, Ultimate Tenkaichi had it, so why not include it in, 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 in this game? I think if any other Dragon Ball Z game deserved it, I think this game deserved it. I think this game deserved to have your own character creation mode because with that, um, that would be pretty cool because, I mean, you're able to customize your, your character's outfits already, so why not custom customize... What the hell is going on? What? We're all trapped. What the... Oh, there we go. What the heck was happening? I mean, we, we, we just saw like a purple aura. I don't know, may, may, maybe Bills arose from his slumber and he found out we're on now. Can you imagine if that happened? Can you imagine if like, while Goku and everybody's fighting off these Frieza soldiers and these henchmen, out of nowhere, like Bills appears, kills Frieza, destroys the planet, kills Goku, kills Piccolo, kills Gohan and Krillin. I mean, that would be a very scary sight. I mean, if I was Goku, if anybody for that matter, and I was around the area when uh, that happened, or if that ever happened, I I, I wouldn't know what to do because you can't really combat Bills, especially during this timeline when Goku was just entering Planet Namek. So where's Gluto? I'm gonna whoop down there. He is. Come here, you little shit. Gluto is another character that I find very very useless. All he was able to do with was, was like throw rocks and trees at you. I mean, yeah, he had like really unique abilities, but it was nothing like Vegeta, nothing like Piccolo, nothing like Gohan and Goku and Krillin. So, um, Gluto was another useless character. I'm gonna beat him into an oblivion. Come here, little Gluto. Come here, you little chubba wubba. Is he gone? Yep, he's gone. There we go. Finally. All right, is that it? Because Vegeta's talking a whole lot of shit right now. Hey, Vegeta, how you doing? Doing good? Well, I'm doing fine on myself. Oh, whoa, what the hell? All right, we have a warning sign. What the fuck's going on? Oh, my God, it's Raccoon. Raccoon! He was like the tank of, like, the Ginyu Force. And, um, when he first fought Vegeta and everybody else, I was just like, man, Raccoon is doing some freaking work. Like, Raccoon was a beast. I mean, I still think that if he was utilized correctly, he would have been more of a beast. 
than he actually was. Um, I just think he needed to stop with the whole raccoon kick and all that stuff, like naming your moves and all that, all those silly poses and whatnot, you know? Um, if Raccoon never did any of those poses, and if Raccoon took the fight very, very serious, then I do believe he would have been a major threat. And now there are more enemy reinforcements heading our way. What the fucking hell? I mean, like I said, guys, if you do... And also, if you guys want to play with me online, be sure to add me on Xbox, everybody. I am willing to play with anybody and everybody when this game... Uh, well, when I'm done with the game, actually. And then after that, um, I'm just going to play with everybody online. We could do 4-on-4, four 3-on-3. Four, three three. It doesn't really matter. For those of you that are hearing the sound of my voice, if you do want to play with me, let me know in the comment section below. I can't add anybody because my friends list is full. But if you do want to play, just send me a, a playlist request and I will play with you guys. Um, but also, if you guys want to play with me as well, just stay tuned for more videos because, I mean, I'm going to be bringing you all the latest videos. I mean, you'll never know when you'll appear in one of my videos because if I'm playing online and you just so happen to be in there and I'm in there with you, there you go. So, Raccoon's about to get taken out. But anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching this episode of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z2. I am your host, Unreal Entertainment Gaming. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said earlier, spread this video, guys. Help spread the Dragon Ball Z movement. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe for all latest news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit it up with a like and a favorite. Rape that thumbs up button, guys. Stay tuned for more. More videos headed your way. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you all on the battlefield. Peace out.